This place, it's never empty. The power it contains is not diminished. And its keepers never sleep. Hi there guys, it's Huck here. This is my review of Dread Out, Keepers of the Dark. Dread Out, Keepers of the Dark is a survival horror game from Indonesia. It was developed and published by Digital Happiness and was released in Steam on the 24th of March for €6.99. The game is described as a standalone horror game that takes place in the Dread Out universe. In this missing chapter you will help Linda, the game's protagonist, face the challenges of the Dread Out world with even more dangers lurking within. A quick synopsis of the game would be as follows. You play Linda, a young Indonesian girl who, when she's not at her day job, likes to run around the forests and buildings, dressed like a secretary and getting the shit beaten out of her by ghosts as she tries to force them into taking selfies with her. Her camera is her only weapon and she captures or frees the ghosts by taking pictures of them. Exorcism by Instagram, if you will. First, I'd like to get the recommendation out of the way. I liked this game. It was atmospheric, it had a kind of Asian gothic feel to it, without any of the weirder sexualisation you might get in a Japanese game. I clocked in about 8 hours of gameplay, and I found it a nice change of pace from the zombie shooting ghost fests that I'd been playing of late. I've got to admit, I haven't played the original game. I own it, but I just I plan to make playthroughs of it in the future so I'm setting it to side but that shouldn't matter if you're going to play a standalone it should be able to stand on its own surely that's the case that being said there are some issues with the game I found the controls clunky and they probably accounted for some of my game time as I get killed trying to get the camera up in my face sometimes it took two clicks of the mouse to get the camera up and once the camera's up your vision is limited so it means that fighting is more difficult now this can add to the the atmosphere of the game as it's it's more difficult to see the ghosts and art, fight the ghosts but it makes the the gameplay a bit infuriating is the word they would use also the fact that you can't you can't jump you can't crouch that there's limited gameplay options really and the character dresses like a secretary and runs like a someone who's wearing a knee length dress it, although at some parts of the game it does make it more tense trying to use these controls it also feels annoying and that could be a bad thing another problem was the, the third person camera I found that it jumped over walls, uh, you couldn't see yourself when you're running up against buildings and stuff. So the fact that it stayed at the same distance was an issue, especially when you're trying to run away from a ghost. I read somewhere that the ghosts in this game were actually created by their Kickstarter funders. And I've got to say that this is prob this seemed obvious in the game. It seemed like some of the there was one set of ghosts. I'm not going to tell you too much about the ghosts, but once or twice the ghosts were either too easy or overly difficult for the limited movement capabilities, and it felt like the game was pandering to its Kickstarter funders in order to try and get these characters on screen because these guys have obviously paid money for it. So despite its flaws, I've got to say at the end of the day I enjoyed this game. Like I said, it's a change of pace. If you're going to look at the evil within or something like that, you're not going to get it. If you're going to even 
even Resident Evil or Silent Hills got a bit more pace than this. But if I had to use a word to describe, it would be understated. It was a nice game. I liked it. I wouldn't. I wouldn't be playing it too often, but it is a nice change of pace from what you would normally be playing. So yeah, this is a recommendation for this game. Especially if you see this later on and you pick it up in a Steam sale at a cheaper price, then it's it's a no-brainer. Uh, if you like the genre, then you need to play this game. So that was my, my review of Dread Out Keepers of the Dark. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please consider liking, comment, sharing and subscribing. It all goes to help. And maybe next time I can pick another game that you might like. This is Huck. Peace.